everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to try and help you or hopefully help you fix this error code you might be getting on your PS3 custom firmware or HEN. So it's 807108, uh, no, A06, my bad. So you can see it on the screen right now. Um, for some reason this keeps happening, like some of you keep commenting saying it keeps giving me this uh, an error has occurred during the downloading operation with an error. So basically I'm going to try and help you fix it. Um, this may require you to have a USB stick to probably fix the issue or maybe you need to probably try another console perhaps. But again if you don't have the money to buy another console then maybe you have to use a computer or a phone instead to get it, you know do it that way um, so I'm going to show you the the simple step how to fix it so let's begin now okay so here we go I'm on the PS3 and I'm getting this issue too for some things uh, and we're running custom firmware and I'm just going to show you quickly that it's I'm running still 4.91 decks you could be running 4.92 and still be having the same issue it's mainly on custom firmware users that are getting this error issue. I have not had an issue with my Hen PS3 at all with this Touchwood though, but it it um, doesn't happen on the Hen one. Just custom firmware for for me. So to fix it, first thing you want to do is head over to maybe your settings. You know, go to go to your time and date. Uh, press on that and set that by internet. So once you've done that. Then come down to network settings and make sure you have a working network connection. Check your debug settings too. Maybe you have um, what is it called? Uh, yeah, this network settings for debug. Maybe you have a dual settings that could be causing it. Single settings. I'm not really sure what those do. I've never really messed with those because I don't know what they do. Uh, I just keep mine at single settings. And then um. You know, I would think you should recommend trying something very small off my website uh, because this is literally for my website, like what we're showing you, how to fix it. Um, I like the Rebug logo as well, so don't say it's on Rebug firmware. It's not on Rebug firmware, it's on even that. I just like the Rebug logo there, so I customize the X and B. It looks pretty cool. It reminds me of my old PS3, the gold one I had, because that's the theme I had on the background and the Rebug icon too, so it just brings me back to that. So now what we're going to do is head on to the internet browser, so we'll click on that, and uh, let this load, and then we can hit triangle. You can either go to file, address entry, and type the link in, or you can just hit triangle and search that way. But I'm just going to go triangle, file, address entry, and you just want to type in www.flamingimmortal.com. And once you have all that in, just hit enter, and it'll bring you to directly to my website doing it this way, which it is. Now this site that we're on right now isn't really for digit, uh, direct downloads on the PS3, so maybe you're doing it this way. Some are in RAW files which cannot be unzipped at all on PS3, but if they're in .zip you can probably extract them, but again, extracting them might not have the files in so it's best to use a computer or a phone with this website if you want to download digit, uh, content directly on the PS3 go on to the immortal modding site that I put together um, it's not done I probably won't have it done sooner or any time it's I'm still adding to it as we go um, by the way I have put the uh, error codes oh it's blocking it but you can literally click on here and it shows you the errors you might be getting also, if you're on HEN, make sure you've enabled HEN and make sure it said welcome in the corner. There's another issue you could be getting too if you've not enabled HEN. Make sure it is enabled and it says welcome in the corner. Because if it doesn't, it's basically probably not even been enabled correctly. You might think it has. Because just clicking on it and then it just going off without saying welcome doesn't mean it's enabled. So that hopefully you understood that part. People are saying the firmwares aren't working and stuff like that. Homebrews, uh, so try a homebrew first, you know, try something small, like, uh, I don't even know what to get, you see, 
Um, GTA 4, perhaps? We'll just try something. There, what have we got? So, yeah, there's a few menus. Which, oh, it's blocking it. Yeah, like, this thing gets in the way. And it irritates me. I can't remove it. Um, so I'm just going to click on this one. Instead. So we'll click on that. You might get this as well, the security of a page. I do not know how to fix this. This just somehow happens on this PS3. I do not know what causes this. But I just go hit yes. And it loads. And it comes up with it again. But I think if you hit no, you get the error. So I just hit yes again. And there you go, it pops up. But if I hit the download button, it comes up again. And if we hit yes, we get the error. Which I just showed you at the start of the video. So to try to fix this you want to hit circle you want to press triangle you want to go down to file address entry and you want to just either hold the l1 button or press on l1 right there and then till you get to this point here then what you want to do here is backspace like take out the s so it's just http and then just keep the link all the same don't change anything else and then there you go, keep it all the same to you right at the end again and just hit enter. Then it should not pop up anymore, it should be fixed. So if we now click on download, this should pop up. If this doesn't pop up, I'm not sure what makes this pop up either. I installed the gold store and that's just how it worked. Um, maybe re-enable the, try to enable the dev flash or maybe there's a plug in homebrew you can get. There is a homebrew actually that can probably... Uh, allow you to have this this to pop up. If this doesn't pop up and it says connect to storage device, just get yourself a USB stick. They're not that much, honestly. Or again, do it on a computer or a phone. Because you've got to have a phone. Everyone must have a phone. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a computer, understand that, because some can be expensive. Um, but yeah, a computer is better, easier, recommended more. Um, especially if you know what you're doing on a computer, I find it easier. PS3 is um, is uh, it's tricky for some reason. It works for Hen, no issue, but this PS3 just doesn't like it. Now, this is why I'm saying try a small file, because even though when it wants it downloads, or installs, or does that downloading thing, what it's going to do in a moment, you could get an error there as well. So, if that's also happening, I think you might have to try another PS3, or... Um, you might have to get a USB stick if you are ref if you don't want to do it with the phone or um, a computer. So let's go to Dev HDD zero. We're just going to hover over packages. And we're going to hit the start button. As you can see, it's coming down fine so far. No, no error. And it worked. Download completed. So hopefully that has fixed it. If you're still not, if you're still getting an error or it's still saying connect a storage device, just get yourself a cheap USB stick. It's not that hard really. <clears throat> That's what I'd recommend you to do. Or install the uh, there's an extended plugin, or try enable the Dev Flash in Multiman to try and fix your issue with that. So if I just hit R L3, this will pop up. Hit Triangle to just close that one. So that's working. Again, I haven't tested everything on that I upload. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going. The heat's dried up my voice. <laughs> yeah, it's been really... It's 28 degrees right now. Um, Well, where I am at, it is. Okay, so... Yeah, again, I'm very picky at choosing what I want to like show you as well in the video. Like, do I want Skate 3? Do I want Black Ops 1? Do I want Black Ops 2? You know... All that's confusing and just hard to decide what to go with. Um, so, yeah, that's hopefully that's worked. Uh, I will try another thing. Let's just go on to... What should we do? What should we do? I don't even know. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's basically the main fix. I've basically showed you how to do it, how to fix it. I hope that hopefully has fixed it for loads of people. They probably figured it out anyway. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
So if I click on this, and then we hit download again, it's going to say the same thing again. So you hit triangle, file, address entry, and you take out that S. Just remember to take out the S and keep the link the same after that. Don't change or add anything else. Just keep it all the same and hit enter. And as you can see, that thing didn't pop up anymore. And if we go and hit download, it pops up again, fine. But if you're having an issue, just plug in a USB stick and you can install it that way too. So just, you know, grab yourself a USB. Grab yourself a USB and plug that in. And it'll pop up at the bottom. Just hit start. And there you go. It starts installing on the USB. And uh, that's mainly it for the fix. Other than that, just try a phone. Maybe try a computer or a laptop. Chromebook. That book. You know. See what works for you. Other than that. Maybe try just put your console on hen when you're downloading stuff from the site. Uh, perhaps do that. See if that works. That could fix it as well. But I'm not sure. So, I hope that worked for you. It's a very small tutorial video. And again, you can feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. So, yeah, bye for now. And before we end it, everything that you download off that site will end up in Package Manager. And it will either be in, it will be in Install Package Files and it will even be in PS3 System Storage. So... RGTA things right there, you just go ahead and install it. See, done. And it'll pop back out here. Then you can just load up the game and it'll be on. If you've done the update for the game as well. And then obviously your USB is standard. So there's the free or the PKG I store. I already have it. We'll just go ahead and install it again. But there you go. And it should be here. So there you go. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, bye for now again. Oh, actually, my, my bad. I, I feel like I should add a little bit more, actually. So, come to... Where is it? So, if you're still also having the same issue, if you don't have multi-man, obviously, you get multi-man first. Uh, either with a computer, phone, uh, or directly off the PS3, if you are able to do it. Load it up. Uh, so here you go, it loads up, scroll over to settings, right, and then just make your way all the way to the bottom, where it says re-access to dev flash, press X on it, and then change it to enable, and once you've done that, just quit out of it, and then try to, try that way, see if it pops up, if you, uh, try it that way as well, I just want to add that in, you know, just a little bit extra, and also, I'll just quickly see if it works for me with the, uh, if we go back on it. That thing automatically disables itself, I think, once you restart the PS3, so don't worry too much about, do I need to re-disable it or something? No, you don't. Also, hit triangle again. Also, if you go to your history, you can see everything we've just been on, so you can reload the sites from here again. Or you can again just go ahead and hit triangle file address entry and the site will be saved here as well like that. Go back on it and then again click on the uh, some stuff you can actually get from here but again not everything just just check it you know check that it's a pkg file like the mod mod loaders will work. So we're on here again let's click on I do wait for that spinning clock in the corner to go as well before I click other things because it can make it bug out. Uh, so here you go, you got the extended download plugin for Hen and Custom Firmware. So let's click on that. Again, we're getting the same issue. So I'm not, I'm having the issue too, but for some reason it, I can fix it just by hitting triangle, file, address entry, and taking out the, uh, taking out the S. Like that. And then just keeping the link the same and just hitting enter. 
So we click it now. And you can again save it to USB if you have a USB. If not, uh, so yeah, hopefully it fixed it. We'll go on here though, and you can save it here too. See, it's fine, it's coming down, no no issue. So we just close out of that, and installing this should give you them options that should pop up. Well, what don't pop up for you, where it shows you the dev HDD0 and all that. So if we go into system storage now, and where is it? Somewhere in here. Where is it? I've probably gone past it, you know. There it is. Just install it. And that's it. I don't know if the system requires a reboot. <laughs> We're heading on the internet one more time. Uh, let's hit start. Oh, not, not select. Select is when you bookmark something. I'm just going to go back on to uh, this again. So we click on it again, and let's just grab the multi man mod. Still getting that m issue again with the message, yes. Yes. Okay, it's still happening. It's but now you've downloaded that extended plugin, it should work. And also, taking out that S should make this thing pop up, which it did. So that's it everyone, I'm going to actually be ending the video now. Um, oh, that's taking quite some time, actually. So that's it everyone, I'm going to be ending the video now. I hope she's enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it fixed your issues. And if it has, again, like I said, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps a lot and it doesn't take that long. You just, it takes only two seconds to do and it helps me so much. And uh, to keep making content for you or uploading it, you know. So other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. So enjoy, hopefully it worked for you. And yeah, bye for now.